The Bouquin number is used to differentiate individuals with normal plasma cholinesterase enzymes from those with abnormal, meaning atypical, plasma cholinesterase enzyme. This can be done due to the fact that Dibucaine, which is a local anesthetic, inhibits the normal plasma cholinesterase enzyme substantially greater than that of the atypical or mutant plasma cholinesterase enzyme. As we all know that succinylcholine, which is a depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent, is metabolized in the plasma by plasma cholinesterase enzyme. So the Dibucaine number, that is the percent of pseudocholinesterase enzyme activity that is inhibited by Dibucaine, can be determined by measuring the percentage of succinylcholine that remains unchanged in the blood after a standard dose of Dibucaine inhibition challenge is given. If the Dibuken number is 80 or more, meaning 80% or more of succinylcholine remains in the plasma unchanged, that is not hydrolyzed by the plasma cholinesterase enzyme because the Dibuken has inhibited the enzyme, the person has a normal plasma cholinesterase enzyme, that is the wild type homozygote, the typical enzyme. However, if the Dibuken number is 40 to 60 percent, then we can say that the person has atypical heterozygote, meaning there is a mutation in the plasma pseudocholinesterase gene. Again, if the Dibuken number is 20 or less, then we can say that the person has atypical homozygote plasma cholinesterase enzyme. So, if the Dibuken number is either between 40 to 60 or even less, it indicates that the individual may have atypical plasma cholinesterase enzyme and hence he or she may develop prolonged neuromuscular blockade following the administration of succinylcholine as the plasma cholinesterase enzyme is responsible for metabolism of succinylcholine.